This video is about my storage room transformation. That's not what this video is about. Messing up. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're here in Jamaica. I'm on vacation, but I'm still working. <laughs> you know, you gotta multitask out here. This is the video of when I transform my storage room into my vanity room. I'm gonna showcase how I went from this to that. And the journey that it took me to even get there, because that project was extensive building the shelves drawers putting them up have a full vanity decorating the whole place and all the ideas items and shopping trust me you'll see in a few how the whole thing went down but let me give you a backstory about my apartment so basically i ended up getting my grandmother's apartment it was filled up with all of her stuff so as i was moving in i was also taking her stuff out a lot of people get their apartments and it's completely empty and they just have to move in i got an apartment that was fully furnished and had 30 years worth of furniture memories and things everywhere second bedroom was essentially a storage room for her stuff as well as when i was throwing things in there transitioning into the apartment so i'm looking a hot hizzy mess as you saw in the photo so to have to start from that <laughs> It was so much work, guys. Clearing out that room to create a ground zero moment for myself. To this day, I've been there for about four years and I'm still finding things that I need to throw out. So just understand that. For now, this video is about the transformation. So stay tuned. So essentially, this is me clearing out the space, going through old photos, old newspapers of Barack Obama, as you can see. I'm putting all my clothes into the drawers that I want to keep. So now it's just clearing out the room, clearing out the space, just a ton of removing things. I took out the bed and I threw it out. I didn't want a bed in there. I took out all the old carpets that's been there forever. You see the plants, the dirt that spilled over as I was trying to clean. And look, I'm finding money all over the floor. Granted, they're pennies, but money is still money. <laughs> but, but yes, we have finally gotten to a clean base. Right, so my impressions just came. My friend just helped me carry all this inside. These boxes are like over 70 pounds. These three were almost 100 pounds. I cannot do this by myself. So shout outs to him for helping me. Um, As you know, the room is emptied out. I have the carpet. Ooh, that goes first. I'm gonna lay that out. I have to finish sweeping all this stuff. I'm gonna paint this wall and this wall. Cause whatever side the vanity goes on, which is probably gonna be this wall. It has to be wallpaper. I'm using a rose gold pattern wallpaper on one of these walls. Or more than one, I have to see. This is everything that has to be thrown out. Like this is in the room, so it's go out. These have to go out. This is the carpet. It's gonna be so cute. It's like two inches, two inches in depth. The fluffiness of the rug. So here we go. So based on the measurement of this, I think I got the wrong size carpet. This is fine because I needed something plush for the bottom. The rug is really, really plush on its own. I just wanted extra depth. Sorry, I was just handling the rug and trying to turn it over. It toppled on me, a whole bunch of stuff happened. But the measurement for this is four by six, which is fine. I wanted it smaller than the room. But judging by <laughs> the carpet that I got, or the rug, I think this is the wrong size. This room is 8 by 10 and the rug is like a 5 by 6 and like, I'm going to bring it out and we're going to see. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to get the rug. know 
why you ask do I keep things by myself? Because I always keep things by myself. I'm a very tough, strong cookie. <laughs> Don't roll out of that. Okay, it's not as bad. It could have been a little bit longer. Oh, I needed this one. You see how deep it is? You can't see my feet. It's like two inches deep. So fluffy. It's so nice. The other ones weren't as thick. They were very thin. And they got flimsy really fast. And they were like $300. So I'm like, why am I spending so much when this quality is so amazing? I just wish it was just a little bit wider. My problem is my surrounding areas. What am I going to do? Hey guys, I'm going to be doing an unboxing for my impressions vanity set. I got the whole vanity, the mirror, the desk, shelves, drawers. So this is the one out of the four that I have. The box is here. Ooh, I should not have done that. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to be able to see. I'm going to try my best. Try my best. I like to sing. I got my hobby. My hobby nights make life easier for me. Can't you see? <laughs> Ignore me. I usually do things by myself. I do have help, but I'll have to wait for tomorrow for them, and I don't want to do that. So basically, it comes with. Don't ask me what I have these. I just want to protect my hands. These are screws and glue and things and such. Sorry for that sound. Some people don't like the sound of styrofoam. Okay, the instructions for the mirror shelf. This is the mirror shelf. I'm going to do the simplest one first. The thing I was most worried about is if the mirror is broke. Because I got mirrors for everything. Everything is mirrored. It's made it so heavy. I had all these boxes come and they were literally 100 pounds. So three out of four of them. This one was the lightest one. It was still too heavy for me, but I still carried it up. Thank God my friend, I called him. I was like, uh-uh, I need some help. Call my closest friend. So shout outs to Ivan coming through. Helping me carry my boxes up because I'm on the second floor. I don't think these are important, but we're going to put these to the side. Guys, I got so nervous that this was important, but obviously if it broke that easy, it's not. But in the process, I definitely dropped my hair up. <sighs> okay, we're good. I'm clumsy. <laughs> but I just want to show you guys the mirror. So this is the mirror shelf. So this is going to be the backing. And the shelves are going to go to each one. I painted the walls for this room. Soft grayish color. I wanted white, but I didn't want to go to Home Depot, so I mixed this planetary silverish blue. I had. It was like a bluish gray with white, and I made a soft gray out of both of them. I just shook up both paints and just stretched half a gallon <laughs> to paint three walls, and it worked. That's good. I didn't paint the last wall, which is where the vanity is going to go, because that wall is going to be rose gold wallpaper. So guys, this is the final result. The mirror shelf. I'm finished. What? Finished. The finished product. I'm gonna do a lot of rose gold accents and I started playing with it on my heater. It came out super dope. I love this rose gold spray paint. This is gonna be rose gold and white, this heater. Each room has its own different brick. There's bricks left here, so I painted them gold for my bedroom. And I think I'm gonna do this one rose gold and white now. I'm trying to get all in the holes and stuff. So there's no little darkness, everything's just white. Voila! Okay guys, the vanity continues. 
This room is coming together. I'm about to get the other carpet to go here. And that's it. So lit. Now we're going to do the five drawer set. I'm going to time lapse this video because it's a million and gazillion pieces. <laughs> Let me show you real quick. All the pieces that we need to make two drawers. The last unit only took 30 minutes. I can see it's projecting to be about an hour and a half. All right, let's do it. Got a Frankie, guys. Frankie always has to make his appearances. the two drawers we're gonna put them here <laughs> just me drawing how the vanity would look on this wall i'm gonna do a wallpaper wall here so that's why it's not painted and i gotta do the frames and stuff like but for now this is what we have going on in here and yeah let's keep it going functioning i'm going to need so much wood next i'm gonna buy a gallon of wood next just to clean these things constantly I'm with it. It's gonna be so beautiful. Now we're gonna get to our third project. This is what we're building, the mirror desktop. And that's gonna go on top of these. And I'm gonna end up putting them over there. I already laid out some pieces so I can get everything started. I like to be organized before I begin. So it'll be a much faster process. Hi right, guys, I finished. I put this on top and I put the glass on top. The drawer is functional. Proud of myself. Now I'm gonna get the vanity mirror because it's gonna go there. Look oh, guys, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm tired. You guys, this was so heavy. The only reason it did not fall is because I was not embarrassing myself on camera with it toppling on top of my body. I did it! it took forever and I'm so proud of how it came out. I ended up putting the carpet back. It's finished, guys. I'm so proud of myself. It came out so good. All right, so we have run out of glue as you can see. This was the glue I was using to do the wallpaper in my other room. When I just did the door frames, I thought it would last. This is what we have this far. Boop, boop. So I'm gonna try something different <laughs> to make sure I have enough for this whole thing. Because the way I was doing it, we would not make it to the end. Now I could definitely finish by tonight and go upstairs. And you know why? It is a full moon tonight. I have to go upstairs and cleanse my crystals. So I'm trying to 
de-stress, meditate after this, set my intentions, drink the, maybe drink a glass of I'm just gonna make sure it's on here and I'm gonna use the rest of the edges. So the edges are the most important part. Right. And we shall see if this is successful or not. Which it is gonna be. It's gonna it's be gonna very work. successful. <laughs> you know what? It's gonna work. It's gonna work. See, I like that attitude. See why I need everybody positive? Because when I start talking, I need the checks, the reminders. <laughs> Stay, of course, it's gonna stay, it's gonna work, honestly. Forget the edges. The edges, edges, the middle's important for no ear bubbles. Listen, I always do it. Stop this shit. I have more wallpaper just in case, right? But no, just in case. <laughs> Keep doing it just to make sure it doesn't lift and it stays. That is my life. Okay, guys, so the wall is complete. I put the wallpaper down. I'm gonna paint the frames white. The details it has little speckles of rose gold. This is the accent wall. The wall is complete. Boop, boop. to put up the closet system now. So this is Ray. He's our family handyman. I knew him since I was a little girl. He helps us with so many things around the house. I try to put this closet system in by myself, just like I've been doing a lot of this whole room, but I failed tremendously and I had to call him to come help me. He did it so quick, so fast. I know you see all those little holes in the wall. Yes, that was attempt number 50. Coming together, right? Thank you. Oh, so excited. <laughs> Let's see if we hang something up. I'm gonna hang something up. Tested some jackets to see the levels and the proportions seem fine. <laughs> okay, right now, guys, I'm wondering if I should have had the closet system 16 inches to the left because initially it was starting right here <laughs> ignore all the holes that happened before he even came here it started here but i didn't want it so close to the door it was like as you walk in clothes gonna be right here in your face so i'm like put it back a little bit i mean it's more centered in the room so in terms of the door and the wall it's centered the only reason i contemplate this is because i wanted to put the dresser over there but that would have been too much dresser right there i might get rid of this dresser anyway but now i can officially put my clothes up because i got rose gold hangers to go i'm gonna add the wallpaper up there that matches this wallpaper look the air bubbles are completely out you know put the hats on the top shelf this is my light switch by the way put the pin here i wanted to add something cute i just threw it up there okay guys i gotta go get some sleep because i have to go to work okay so i was doing the dressers checking to see if i could paint it this is the first coat white and i'm being really lazy about this because i could have taken all my clothes on i didn't whatever the whole point of the story is i just took the knob off and it fell right into the paint can and i tried to dig it out with this and it's not working so now i have to put my hand in and i'm very much so irritated but here we go i have to go find this oh my gosh oh i don't want to do this at all i'm gonna end up finger painting the dresser apparently right oh lord there it is no this is nasty okay here we go <laughs> so here's the knob i might as well leave it white right the trials and tribulations of getting shit done. <laughs> Finger painting time. Soon come. I ended up wiping my hands across the majority of this to get the paint off. And at least put it to a place that's going to be painted anyway. 
and uh, yeah, yeah. I just got paint on clothes. <laughs> You see, I was on the phone with my best friend trying to be quick. And then this has occurred. So let me find more things to paint. <laughs> In my meantime, like the side of my door. Oi, oi. All right, guys. I need to wash my hands. <laughs> Hey guys, so while the second coat is drying, I'm gonna work on spray painting the hardware rose gold. Cause the whole room's rose gold! <laughs> so we have the crayon, crayon, whatever this is, color mask and rose gold. So it's a primer and it's a color. And it kind of matches, well, it's exactly what all the features in the room are right now. All the rose gold accents we have going on. So we're gonna test, it's working. Get the first dose out. Let's get to work. Obviously, I only have the window open and I have no mask on because I'm a dangerous person. I love fumes, so, you know. <laughs> Maria's coughing through the, <laughs> the screen. <laughs> Let's do this. Whew. It's blowing in my face. I can't even see. Amazing. But anyway, <laughs> neither here nor there. For the most part, it's done. And just getting the little all right done that's simple i mean it looks dark here let me put it on flash when it dries and i put it against the white you'll see the difference that is really rose gold look guys simple one two three okay so this is after the first coat on the top i'm gonna let it dry this is the second coat. And these are all three coats finished on the front. As you can see, it's seamless. So it's a little wet before I put the hardware back on. But for now, yes, it is becoming a white dresser right before our eyes, guys. <laughs> the last coat I'm putting on. I just want to show you the technique that I use. Where I just try to go on the same pattern and create fine brush strokes. I'm here to show you the finished product. After three coats on each side, it's no longer wood, it's all white. I put the rose gold hardware, as you can see. My closet system is still being placed and organized. I'm gonna put hats and stuff up there. It's my ring light. My dad's been on my shoe. This is a more ball seat. What the? Underneath it? Let's put up my sunglasses yeah. over. I know I live. <laughs> <laughs> you love me. From Wayfair. I might need to, is it a put it close to yes, huh? Mm -hmm. Spread it out. Yeah? Mm hmm Without a drill, just arm strength. Man, no, that's tough no more. 
He still got it, Daddy. What's it happening? This man told me everything I know. Yeah, strong. <laughs> Go, Dad. Go, Dad. <laughs> Come on, push through. <laughs> We're not stopping. <laughs> You will start this in here, so see, we we'll start this here. Oh, he got the wood. Mm -hmm. So hard. This is what you need a drill for. Mm -hmm. Two lazy people out there, y'all don't know what hard work is. <laughs> okay, time for this. Be careful, my man. <laughs> so, we're just gonna put it right up on the top. I'm giving this one, this one there. Two black, two black screws, two black screws. Oh, there we go. So, we got this shelf. I was going to put one more here, but it's going to clutter the room. So, now anything left is these picture frames. Go with the rose gold theme. And we are finished. <laughs> right now we have the bags up on this. I'm still putting clothes on the closet system. there you have it guys before and after thanks for joining me on my transformation don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's winding out here so i'm hoping my mic is like you guys see my little mic i got this pink cute little mic when this hitting so lovely for me for audio purposes this is not good well, I ended up documenting the moving in process as well, but I never thought to release it until sitting down with you guys right now. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll put it together. Just let me know in the comments below. Bye.